in the right place. This is the sample workout with me, Jill Ortiz, your coach, for the No Pain, No Gain November Challenge. So what this workout is, is it's a sampling of all the different workout styles we'll be doing during our month of November challenge. I want you to sign up. Go to bit.ly slash November with Jill. Okay, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be time for you to put your excuses aside and prioritize your health during this hardest time of the year. I'm going to take a swig of my pre-workout and let you know what you need to do right now to get ready for this workout. Maybe you make some too. So every morning before I start my workout, I do take a pre-workout supplement. That helps me get more endurance and get more out of my workout. I also take it to do my daily activities in the afternoon sometimes, like laundry and hanging with the kids and going to all the soccer practices. I also made myself, and if you just have water, that's great. I made myself some hydration, kind of like Gatorade, but it doesn't have all the sugar and chemicals and flavorings and all that junk. And it's just 40 calories. So this is just a hydration. So you'll be drinking, seeing me drink this too. And then after my workout, I will be making my plant-based chocolate recovery, which I love, which helps me recover my muscles right from the minute I finish my workout and come back tomorrow just as strong for the next workout. So that's my uh, supplement regimen. You don't have to have supplements but I want you to know that if you are interested in them that you can always um, find them I see I have some people who are trying to join the workout here let me get over to Facebook and let them in so what I want you to do right now is go find yourself some weights okay I want you to get a couple sets of weights I brought my uh, tens as light weights and my 15s as my heavy weights I might grab one more heavier weight today um, if I you know feel like it's necessary for me. Now, if you don't have any weights at home right now, I want to tell you a couple places you can get them. Amazon, Prime, go grab some because that's really easy uh, to get them nice and quick. You could go to your local sporting goods store and you could also um, go to Marshalls or TJ Maxx. They always have cheap weights there. There might be light weights, but they'll get you started. Otherwise, grab a couple water bottles and go outside and fill them up with rocks or water and just use those. Because I promise you, if you learn and I will teach you how to find your muscles and contract them, then you'll be able to get work out of this workout. All right, so you start grabbing your weights. Grab yourself some water. I have a mat right here, which you're gonna want for our 10 minute core section and also for when we do some push-ups in case you wanna put your legs, your knees down, okay? We're also gonna want a towel because you're gonna get so sweaty during this workout, even though we're really not jumping around and leaving the floor at all if you don't want to. This is gonna be for every fitness level. You never have to leave the ground. I'll always show you modifications, but you will get sweaty. So grab a towel, figure out which side's gonna be for your face and which side's gonna be for the floor because both are gonna get sweaty, okay? And that's just about all you're gonna need for this workout, just a little bit of space. This is my basement, I don't have a ton of space. We've got our spin bike over here. We've got our weight rack right here. And I'm sandwiched in between a couch and a futon, and that's it. I'll be staying right in this little frame the whole time. So if you guys are ready to go, then I'm ready to go too. We're gonna keep this within the hour and you're gonna feel amazing at the end. I'd love to know with your comments, with your emails, let me know how this workout goes and then join the No Pain, No Gain November Challenge. It's gonna be amazing. I will be doing every workout with you and they're gonna be just like this, okay? You ready? Let's cue up our music. We'll make sure we don't have any more people trying to get into the Facebook group and we will get started. Yay, who's excited? Show me some hearts. Every time we take a rest, you gotta come over and <laughs> hit the little like button. All right, so here's how we're breaking down today's workout. We're gonna be doing a 20, 15, 10, five, okay? I made that up. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna start with our hit workouts during the No Pain, No Gain November Challenge. I think there's only about four of them. One of them's gonna come on Thanksgiving Day. No equipment that day, in case you're traveling like I will be. And so that's gonna be just 20 seconds of six exercises to get us warmed up, and we're gonna do that twice. Now we're gonna move into our weight section, which will be eight moves, 45 seconds on, 
15 seconds off and we're gonna do that twice. Then we're gonna go into our kickboxing, which is also gonna be two times of each move. We're gonna do four rounds, and so we'll have two moves per round. The first one we're gonna do for about a minute, and then we're gonna do 30 seconds of our second move, and we're gonna do that twice, okay? Then we're gonna go into our ab section, which is gonna be just one time through. We're gonna do 10 moves, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds to transition from move to move, and then we're gonna do our stretch and we will be done. All right, so let me cue up the music and we'll get started. Let me know how the volume is. Hopefully you can hear me and the music. All right, here we go. I gotta get my stopwatch on. We're gonna start with a jog, okay? Make sure your weights are out of the way. We don't want anybody tripping. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Jog it out, 20 seconds. Now, if you don't wanna jog, like I said, you can keep everything low impact. Just march it out, okay? 20 seconds here, and then we're gonna take it up to a butt kick. Low impact butt kick. You're gonna pull. Let's go. If you wanna take it up, you can kick your butt. Kick your butt. <laughs> so high impact or wide legs for pull. All right, you only have five seconds. And then we go to a high knee. Again, march. Or you can jog, high knee, up to you. So you're doing a nice big march or a big high knee jog. Five seconds, we've got that. Here's your tap. Ready, go. Tap it out or higher impact, you're gonna be here. Keep going, halfway through. Exercise is a knee pull. We're gonna turn to one side. Ready? Pull. Right here. Everybody's the same. Pull. Pull. Three, two, one. Switch sides. Pull. Good. We only have one more exercise left. It's gonna be a punch. Ten o'clock. Two o'clock. Right here. Let's go. We go back to the top. Five, four, three, two, jog it out. So it can be a little pedal, or you can bring it up a little bit more. This is already round two. Your heart rate should be climbing. We can give it a little more with this round. Butt kicks in three, two, Kick it up or pull. Pull those shoulders back. Pull, pull. Get those arms moving too. 10 seconds. Good. Keep it up. Three, two, one. High knees. Up, up, up. Good. This is your low impact or you got high. Like high knees. <laughs> Good. Jacks are coming in five seconds. Jack or tap. Three, two, tap. Low impact. High impact. You get to choose. I promise you'll get a lot out of both of them. We've got the power knee. Three, two, ready, pull.
slipped on my mat. Don't do that. Good stuff. All right, who's giving me thumbs up here? We're going into our weight section. Our first move is gonna be a bicep curl to a hammer curl. I'm gonna show it to you, okay? We're gonna go for 45 seconds. Grab your lighter weights. Here's what it looks like. Elbows are tucked in tight, middle of your body. We're gonna do a bicep curl. We're gonna turn the weight and do a hammer curl, okay? We start in 15 seconds. Looks like this. Bicep curl, hammer curl, okay? Keeping those elbows tight. We got 45 seconds. You ready? Three, two, let's go. Curl, turn, curl. So what this is doing, it's a very basic move. Today we're staying very basic. We're gonna graduate from basic over the course of our four weeks. Make sure you're turning. So you're getting right down the middle of the bicep with your regular traditional curl. And then you're getting the side and you're sculpting the side of the bicep with that hammer curl. We've got 15 seconds to go. And then we're gonna pull out a heavier weight. We're gonna pull out one heavy weight for a goblet squat. Five, four, three, two, quick transition or keep that one. Hands underneath, feet parallel. You're gonna squat down and stand up and squeeze the butt. Keeping your chest up, we go in three, two, one, let's go. Squat and up. Squeezing at the top, chest and eyes are up. If you have lettering on your shirt, it should still be facing me. What I wanna see is the top of that dumbbell and the bottom of that dumbbell are both raising your chest. That means that you're not leaning forward too much. If you lean forward too much, that bottom part of the dumbbell comes off your chest. You gotta keep it. If you don't wanna go so far down in the squat, just come halfway. But squeeze everything as you stand up. You've got five seconds left and then we're gonna switch out for our lower weight. Your heart rate up, let's go. Lower weight. Shoulder work, Arnold press. Weights face you and they turn and face away. They're gonna come in and back up. We go in three, two, let's go. Arnold press, up, back, in. Now what I don't wanna see is I don't wanna see your body leaning back so you get these weights up. If you're struggling, put one foot back. That's gonna keep that strong posture going up and down. Up and down. Now if your weights get heavy but you don't wanna put them down, do one at a time, okay? Alternate, that's gonna cut the reps in half. You've got 10 seconds left and then we come down for tricep push-ups. I'm gonna grab my mat out and get my weights out of the way. In three, two, good, weights out of the way. Grabbing your mat if you need it. Tricep push-up means that your hands are close together. Your elbows are gonna graze the sides of your body. And in three seconds, we're gonna go down and up. Same thing on the knees, let's go. Down and up, down and up. So your elbows are not, your hands are not out here. Your, 
ground. But you're just stepping back. Now if you can't go as far down, don't go as far down. If you're just at a place where you want to do a little tap, squeeze the glutes. Squeeze the glutes. 15 seconds left. Back.
weights. Arnold press. Shoulders. Let's sculpt them. Remember, we start with the hands facing us. And we're going to turn them as we go up. We've got three, two. I've got one foot in front. Let's go. Turn and come back down. A lot of control. Press up. Come down. Can you squeeze your glute?
Are you ready? Take a drink. I'm gonna give you one minute until we get started, okay? Again, our format, and you can get rid of your weights. We don't need them anymore for the workout. Our format is three minute rounds. You're gonna be doing a minute and a half on one side, and then a minute and a half on the other. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna be, this is my left, it might be your right, I'm not sure. If you tell me, is this your left? Somebody tell me. <laughs> so we're gonna be doing a one minute. I'm gonna teach you a kickboxing combo. And we're gonna do that for a minute. And then I'm gonna show you a little heart rate spike, right? And we're gonna do that for 30 seconds. And then we're gonna switch to the other side. We're gonna do the same two things. We've got four different rounds, okay? We're gonna start with a little bit of warm up for one minute, okay? All right, weights are out of the way. We're gonna do our little hip rotation. I want you to start here, okay? Right here. Do a little hip mobility, okay? That's it. Right here for 10 more seconds. Good. Breathing, you have your water. We're gonna go to a little core rotation now, okay? I want you to turn, turn. Now you see every time I turn, I lift my heel. You're gonna be doing this a lot. When we do our jabs and our crosses and our hooks, I always want you to be on the ball of your foot, okay? We're gonna practice that right now. Come forward, I've got my left foot forward and my hands are by my face. I want you to jab and cross and jab. You see how my back heel is lifting? Jab, cross, jab, cross. You got it? All right, I want you to add a hook. Jab, cross, hook, low, let's go. We got a minute here. Up, jab, cross, hook, low. Got it? Jab, cross, hook, low. So your jab is always gonna be the same hand as the front foot. Jab, cross, hook, low. And then you're always punching to the same place with your jab and your cross. So I'm aiming for my own face. Jab, cross, hook, low. Jab, cross, hook, low. Now if you wanna speed it up, you can. Jab, cross, hook. So these combos are always gonna be at your own pace. Good, three, two, rest a second. Here's our spike. Guarded squat, squat jump. Ready? If you don't wanna jump, come to the toes. Let's go, 30 seconds. Squat, squat jump, squat, squat jump. If you're not jumping, Come to the toes and squeeze the butt. You're halfway there. Squat, squat, jump. And then we're gonna do that combo on the other side. So I'll be putting my right foot forward and doing the jab, cross, hook. Ready? Set it up. Here we go. Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross. Hook. Jab, cross I'm on 
ready? A minute to get it. Three, two, one, go. Jab, cross, slip, cross, set. Jab, cross, slip, cross, set. Jab, cross, slip, cross, jab, cross, slip, cross. So this is our combo. We're working the core. On that slip, I want you to crunch. And then come up powerful. Jab, cross, slip, cross, jab, cross. This doesn't have to be the fastest part of your workout because we are going to make that heart rate spike in just a second. All right, you got 10 seconds left. And then I'm going to teach you that spike. Jab, cross, slip, cross. You ready? We're going to do a front kick. And then the other leg is going to lunge back. I'm starting with my right. You ready? In three, two, one. Right kick, left back. Kick and lunge. Kick and lunge. You see how the heart rate's going to come up. You're here for 30. And now we're going to start that combo on my right side.
If you're out of breath, make it smaller. Up. Knee, knee, hook, up. Knee, knee, swipe that elbow across the shelf. Punch up underneath the face. and eyes are 
moving on to core. Woo! Killing it, guys. An awesome workout. You are 35 minutes in, and we are about to do 10 minutes of core work to get you strong. Your core is gonna carry you in life. It's gonna make you taller. It's gonna help you with back pain. When you have a strong core, your pain in your back goes away. When you strengthen your arms and your legs, same thing, we're here to eliminate all that pain, all the aches. We wanna keep your moving, keep your muscles mobile. We're gonna work on that joint health and muscle strength. The way this section is gonna work is you have 10 ab moves, 10 whole minutes of abs. We're gonna have modifications if you need them. We're gonna do each move just once for 45 seconds straight. We have 15 seconds to transition. So let's get down to the mat. Our first move is a jackknife. We're gonna have our hands and our legs out and they're gonna meet in the middle and you're just gonna touch your toes. And if it's too hard with both, It is 
to touch your toe, touch your knee. Ready? Three, two, let's go. Up off the hip if you can. Now if it's tough to be up off the hip, come down to the hip. Crunch, crunch. You should feel this in the oblique right here. Crunch, got it? If it's too much to lead your toe, tap your knee, but I want you squeezing on the oblique, the side of your abs. We're gonna sculpt them, okay? Toe, if you can come up off the hip there, you've got about 10 seconds left. And then we're gonna go over to the other side. Exhale, five, four, three, two, and we're gonna switch. Other side. Woo! Pulling back 
towel. Woo! Wow. I hope you had a great workout. Send me your feedback. Let me know how it goes, how it went. Woo! I'm gonna drink some water. So one of my rules when we do a workout is to finish my water before I leave my workout space. a great way to get water in early in the day, get it in at all, and to rehydrate after a great workout. All right, we're gonna do some stretching. We're gonna bring our breath down. You ready? Slowly get up. All right, so it's important that we identify all the muscles that we use and then we stretch them out. But first, let's take some nice, big, deep breaths and fill up our lungs completely, okay? Inhale that fresh air and exhale it out. Up and down. Good, up and down. Let's work on that spine. Hands come to just above the knees. We're gonna round the spine and then release, pushing the butt back. So bring the belly button in, round, and then come on back down. Good. Up, and down, and up, and down. Good job. Two more. One arm across, stretch it out, bring the shoulder down and across, and we're gonna hold. So I wanna make sure you're holding these stretches for a good 20 seconds. Give your muscle time to figure out what you're doing, and then for it to have time to then relax, okay? She's gonna hold your arm for five more. Three, two, good. Let's switch to the other side. Pull across, hold that there, hold, deep breaths, you should be proud of yourself, now you should reward yourself with what? Not with candy, not with treats, but with good food, right? So in the No Pain, No Gain November Challenge, we're going to be holding ourselves accountable to nutrition. If we sign up by Tuesday, you're going to be getting my Foods for Fat Loss workshop for free. All right, that's a $27 value for free. Bring one, up, one arm up and over. We're going to pull down to stretch our triceps. So in my Foods for Fat Loss workshop, you are going to learn just how many calories you should be consuming to fuel your body and get to your goal, whether it's weight loss, muscle gain, maintenance. You're also going to learn which foods you should be eating to help you to get the most out of your food to maximize your results, right? But also enjoying your food. Other side, you're going to learn which portions of your food should be carbs, should be fats and proteins, and why it is important not to eliminate one of those food groups or severely cut them down, okay? You're gonna learn how to track your food, how to build a meal plan, and how to stick to it. And you're gonna have a great system for accountability. I want you to hold your hands behind and pull back, pull your shoulders down and away, okay? You're gonna have tons of accountability in our group. Good stuff. All right, let's start with the legs now. We're gonna pull up on one quad, so you're gonna pull up on your foot. You're gonna actually push back into your foot, into your hand with your foot and engage your quad. If you need to hold on to something, that's fine, okay? Within our No Pain, No Gain November Challenge, you're gonna have five workouts a week. You're gonna have a couple of the total body conditioning with the weights. You're gonna have maybe one kickboxing and one hit class. You're gonna have one yoga stretch foam roll day. And then you're gonna have one yoga stretch foam roll day 
that's going to be live with me on Sundays. And then on those Sundays, you're also going to have, did you switch? You're going to have a pep talk every Sunday, helping you through the holiday season. You're going to be getting a menu from me for Thanksgiving. Things you can make that are healthy, great recipes, and a great pep talk on how to not sabotage your results on Thanksgiving Day. We're going to have that awesome live Thanksgiving workout just like we had today with no equipment. And even if you're traveling, you'll be able to do it. I'll be traveling too. If you have any questions, you let me know what they are and I'll address them. Pick your toe up in front and sink down. Feel the back of your leg stretching. That's your hamstring. Hold here. Woo! These workouts are going to be for every fitness level as long as you have clearance from your doctor if you've been dealing with any injuries or health issues. If you are worried about what time of day you're available to work out, you can do the workouts any time of day. I'll be posting them every day at 4 a.m. So you can get up and you can do it super early or you can do it in the evening. Whatever time works for you, the recordings will be available for you to do any time. If you want to do them one day late and be one day behind everybody, that's fine too. Did you switch? Good. So any other questions that you have, I want you to ask me. Should you wait until after the holidays? No. What? Three months? Heck no. You have goals now? Start working on them. You want to be 10 pounds heavier when you start working on your goals? Lean to the side, bend one knee, stretching open that inner thigh. We call those the adductors. Good. And let's go to the other side too. You will have my full support and I will be doing this entire month right alongside you. You're going to get to see everything I put in my mouth you're gonna know the work that I'm doing too. You're gonna see this gets you results. You're gonna have to stay consistent because I'm not gonna give you any other option but to show up every day for yourself. And if you struggle, you're gonna have a group of people who are right there with you to lean into. All right, thank you so much for a wonderful workout. You get in touch and you sign up for the No Pain, No Gain November Challenge right now. We'll see you later, guys. Have a great one.